Trenchless Manhaar Rehabilitation with the Puedal Flex Liner. The old manhole to be rehabilitated is digitized using a 3D laser scan. The scanner is positioned in the middle of the existing manhole and controlled with an app. The manhole is scanned from top to bottom at 1 meter intervals. With the help of a special program, the individual scan data is evaluated and combined into a large data cloud, also called MESH, by our designers. A 3D model of the old manhole is made based on this data cloud. This representation enables a discussion about the appropriate rehabilitation measure. Then a drawing with the exact dimensions of the new renovation elements is created and sent to the client for consultation. A negative shape of the new manhole base is then milled at the CNC robot milling station which is required for production and installation. The Polyurea Pedal Flex Liner is produced by high-quality handwork thanks to well-trained employees. Before inserting the Pretel Flex Liner, approximately 5 to 4 cm of the old manhole must first be chiseled away in order to create space for the rehabilitation component. The flex liner is then folded together and inserted non-destructively through the cone into the old manhole and positioned. Plugs are positioned to seal out in inlets. To stabilize and protect the Breedle Flex Liner against buoyancy during backfilling, a polystyrene negative on which the Flex Liner was produced is inserted. The annular gap between the old manhole and the liner is monolithically backfilled with fluable self-leveling and shrink-free mortar. About 30 minutes after filling, the mortar should have hardened. The support bodies and plugs can thus be removed. The Pedal Flex Liner is thus fully installed and functional after approximately 4 hours including the chiseling work. The Corporate Liner is used to rehabilitate the manhole rings. It consists of 3 mm thick PP material and can also be inserted through the cone without being cut. The 
Copotec liner and the PP strip injected into the flex liner are connected by extrusion welding. The cone is rehabilitated with the flex conos, which is also made of the flexible material polyurea. Once the component has been correctly positioned, it is also connected to the Copotec liner by means of extrusion welding with the injected BP strip. Any inlets or falls that emanate from the manhole rings can be opened again and must be protected with the plugs before backfilling. so that the lining can be correctly backfilled with grudging mortar and to prevent any deformation of the liner, the support bodies supplied by Breedl must also be inserted and positioned here. After removing the support bodies, the completely renovated manhole is cleaned and the final optical finishing touches are given. A complete manhole structure from the base to the cone could be renovated without trenches within a few hours.